All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome to a Minecraft custom map called Cruise Ship Down by Sense of Meta. I guess it's supposed to be some sort of lighthearted murder mystery detective story kind of dealio. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. The Rule Pool, aka The Rules. Play on easy or higher. Don't break or place blocks unless instructed. And just, you know, don't cheat. Sounds fairly straightforward. And make sure you're using the resource pack, which we are. I guess it doesn't change any of the blocks. I don't know. We'll see what it does. And let's play. Be sure to grab the access card from the chest. Okay. I should probably do that. Um, I would assume that's the access card. Some objectives, and I guess there are two sets of items in case we were playing with someone else. But for now, we'll go it alone. The captain will go down with his ship. Haha, -ha, I get it. Because I'm a captain, you know? <laughs> okay, um, let's arrange this a little bit. I take it that's bow and arrow, and those are arrows. And I guess we should probably read the objectives. Agent. Oh, so I'm not a captain. Oh, well. <laughs> As you know, we, we have reason to believe that Vincent Vivel, the host of this private cruise ship party, is involved with distributing weapons illegally across the globe. He's invited a few friends to join him in celebrating one of his new business ventures. You're posing as Pierre Rare. Pierre Rare? What, whatever the way you pronounce it is. The business partner, Vivel, is starting his new business with. The two have never spoken face to face. So long as you are convincing enough, you should be fine. Your objective is to get close to Vincent Veeble and try to find out any useful information concerning his involvement with illegal arms dealing. Good luck, Agent. Some equipment has been smuggled on board just for you. Just in case. Okay. So, I guess we've got all the equipment we need. And Vincent Veeble is very, very evil. And he must be stopped. Alright, so I think we're good to go. Let's exit. I think everyone's at the bar right now. I should use the elevator to get up there. Okay. Well... Inner monologue, I better listen to you, but first I should probably check the, uh, the rooms. Zed Zalias. Let's see if his room can provide some clarity for our mission. Haha, <laughs> I made a pun joke. Yep. <laughs> uh, room number four, Riley Vivel. Well, Riley has some exquisite apples for us. Those could come in handy if we ever lose out on hunger, although we have a, a whole bunch of steak. So, let's see. Um, that's probably the elevator, I would make a guess. Um, Richie Rich. Uh, Richie Rich is probably quite wealthy, I would have to assume, and Richie Rich has a Rolex. So, Richie Rich is possibly quite rich. Um, room number two. Simon... Oh! Well, it's it's good that Simon of the Augscast is on board the ship. Maybe he'll provide us with some company. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Cole Denier. What do you have for us, Cole Denier? No dinner in your room? Okay. Well, anyway, I guess uh, let's head up the elevator, assuming that's what this is. Are we in the elevator? I guess so. Teleported us up. Um, all right. Please insert your ticket into the reader. I assume that's what the access card is. I think I'm gonna be sick. Is... is he dead? What does it look like, you did? We need to remain calm. Ugh, I need a drink. It was one of you, wasn't it? One of you killed my brother. Don't be ridiculous. There's the beer around But here. it was you, wasn't it? Down on your luck? Need a bit of cash, huh? huh? We should not be throwing unfounded accusations at each other. Well, it would seem that Vincent Vivel appears to have been decapitated. Oh dear. That's probably not good. Everyone, please, don't panic. Just uh, don't look at it. That'll help. Oh, yeah, he's decapitated. Um, I've been told that you all need to return to your cabins while I stay here and get drunk. The scum bar. Nice. Um, don't worry, though. Apparently help is on the way. Poor Vincent Vivel. Um, help you say help? I think it's a bit late for that now. My brother's dead. He's, he's dead. Everyone was ushered out of the room and you've returned to your cabin. Um, it looks like the mission is a failure, but perhaps you can still get some information from the other guests. Can I do that? All right. You should visit them in their cabins. However, beware. There's a possibility that one of them could be the murderer. So my mission has changed now from 
trying to stop illegal arms dealings to uh, trying to figure out who murdered the evil illegal arms dealer. I don't know. Maybe we should just leave it to rest because he's a bad guy and he, but whatever. We're never going to rest until we know the answer. Throughout this map, you may find unique items that belong to others. These could be important clues, so make sure you don't lose them. I feel like this uh, this map is going to test my clue knowledge or something. And, uh, well, I don't know. Best of luck to me. Oh, hello. I am Zed Zalis. I am one of Vincent's uh, business associates. I'm afraid you will need to excuse me. I have some very important phone calls to make. Uh, good to meet you, my friend. Uh, by the way, no. I do not know why everyone else's head is so big. I think they have a cold or something. I'm trying to keep the accent consistent between what they first said and then uh, there was no dialogue for the follow-up part. But anyway, uh, Zed Zelius, one of Vincent's business associates, he needs to make important phone calls so we will leave him be. I will just check his chest one more time and uh, we'll find Zed Zelius's notes and I will read them in his accent. He is dead. I will proceed. Oh, well that would sound like Mr. Uh, Zedzalius is in on the murder. He may not have done the murder himself, but it sounds like he may have, you know, been privy to the information. So, with that in mind, I suppose, um, so that I probably objectives has no more significance. Um, so we'll try to keep this stuff organized. Actually, let me throw objectives back in there. Um, actually, no, I'm going to be safe and wait until my inventory is completely full before I do that. Okay, room number four, Riley Vival. I don't think that he was privy to it because he sounded very upset. He looks very upset. <laughs> All right, let me hey, keep my bullet. You shouldn't just waltz into people's rooms like that, Pally. Do you even know who I am, huh? I'm Riley Vival. Vincent's brother, you idiot. If you don't mind, I'd rather be left alone. So get out of here. Alright, well, I'll leave you be. Let me just check your chest really quickly. And man, I'm a gangster. See, man, I'm mad. See? And he doesn't have anything in his chest. Okay. Fine. You seem very angry, so I'll lay in your room. And I wonder if we can go up the, uh, the elevator again. I guess we can. Um, all right, let's check out uh, Richie Rich's room. I should keep my volume up, I guess, so I can uh, hear the dialogue. Hopefully you can hear the dialogue as well. You can always adjust it up um, in the editing if need be. Who's that? Oh, it's you. I suppose I should introduce myself, eh? The name's Richie Rich. I'm the vice president of Vincent's business. The Vincent's death. I mean, I'm the new CEO. <laughs> excellent. Oh, very excellent. Yes, you know, I don't, I don't mind that he's gone now because it could further advance my business opportunity. Ow, that was loud. Uh, <laughs> oh, Richie Rich's bottle of poison. Oh, well, maybe this could have contributed to his death, although I don't know how a bottle of poison could have removed his head. It could have certainly been a factor. In the entire overall murder, we'll have to wait on the autopsy to see if Mr. Vival was poisoned before death. But that could take a few days, and I'm not sure if we have a proper morgue on board. So, anyway, Mr. Richie Rich, I think that you and Mr. Zedzalius may have been part of the murder conspiracy. <laughs> what about Simon, though? Might Simon be involved? <laughs> this is... I, I have very mixed feelings about this face. It's like, it's... Hello, there. I don't think we've met, Chappie. I'm Simon Brindley. I actually only met that Vincent fellow a few days ago, and suddenly Bish Bosh has invited me to this party. Poor chap. Oh well. Let's not dwell on it, eh? I can't tell if that's supposed to be like an impersonation, but I'm gonna leave it be. Um... He sounds very innocent, yes, you know, it doesn't sound like he had much, well, although at the same time, if they only met a few days ago, he could be the hitman, because that would make sense. Because the other guys, you know, they're, they're too, 
they're, they're way too involved with Mr. Vivil to actually be the murderers themselves because it would just, it would be too obvious. So they've got to hire an assassin, and the assassin could just be this innocent-looking fellow like Mr. Simon Brindley here, and he could just play like he knows absolutely nothing when in reality he's, he's the devious one who actually pulled the trigger or sliced the katana. However his head came off, I don't think it was poison. Um, okay, so Cole Denier doesn't seem very happy either. He just, meh. Nah. Right, mate. My name's Cole. Cole Denier. I've known Vincent since we were kids. It's been years since I'd seen him. I'm no businessman. I'm just your average geezer. Come to see his old friend. And now this has happened. Looks like that's everyone. I need to get back to the bar and investigate this murder. Um, cold. Oh, he has a lot of cash. That that could be something. So Zed's alias's notes. Richie Rich's bottle of poison. Cold Denier's wad of cash. So let's recap. Let's recap. He is a very suspicious wad of cash in his room, as if he could have been paid off as the assassin, or maybe paid off to keep quiet. Simon Brindley only met him a few days ago, so that could mean he's the assassin who just tried to sort of play on the inside to make it seem pretty inconspicuous. Richie Rich just seems like kind of a dick, um, who could possibly have contributed some poison. Riley Vival, you know, it could be the brother. Brothers can be quite devious and then act as if they are very distraught. And then Zed Zale, they all seem kind of, I don't know, suspicious in one way or another. Anyway, I should probably head back up the elevator and go examine the crime scene once again. All right, thankfully the door is open. Bar is closed until further notice. Um, I guess it has a couple entrances. Is that right? Looks like they've turned out the lights. I hope I don't trip over Vival's head. <laughs> I think I saw a blood trail back there. I should head over there. Heh, eh, eh. Oh, so maybe he wasn't deca- maybe he was decapitated uh, post-mortem. So perhaps he was poisoned and then they wanted to make a message so they cut off his head and they threw it in the bar. So it's very possible that's what happened. The scum bar. Did the levers do anything? I guess not. There is a chest in here, however. Um, Babby Grog. <laughs> I guess we can take some. And... I guess it's a it's one of those new drinks the kids are all trying out. Ooh. Oh, it's baby, baby grog, and this is this is serious serious grog. Alright, so we may as well take advantage of the serious grog and follow the blood trail into the staff only section. I have a feeling we're about to stumble on something a little bit devious. Uh, let's see. Oh. That's nice. Hey, this isn't Grog. Oh, the murderer stuffed the rest of evil in the box. Lovely. It doesn't look like the murder weapon's around here. I should check the engine rooms. No Grog left by the bartender. Someone has stolen all the Grog. Now I can't get drunk. Damn, I'm very sad because I like to drink the Grog. All right. So by the way, that's a uh, trap chest. I don't know if that bears any significance to anything. But, um, let's see. So, should I take Vincent's body parts with me? Um, I don't think they're necessary, so I'll take a pass on those. I don't really need to be carrying around a body inside my inventory. Um, stairs to the engine rooms. Let's- oh! Okay, apparently I took the stairs. Staff cabins and so 